Hi guys, let's enter the basement Dino Dungeon, okay? So today, we have lots to cover. We have a brand new Jurassic World Pro Ceratosaurus 12 inch basic figure to unbox and to review. We're gonna be opening more of these eggs right here. We're gonna do Dino Rivers battles. 15 battles of them. They are all placed right here on the floor, okay? We are also going to take a look at our Takara Tomy collection, okay? Only the carnivores. We have some news updates as well, so let's begin. Hey guys, I'm Zen and welcome back to the basement Dino Dungeon. Yes, today we have lots of stuff to cover and to review, but before we get started, I want to show you guys an update of our Mosasaurus repaint. Okay, so follow me. Right guys, say hi to Lever 2 Jurassic World Midlands first. You guys can see the shelves are actually empty. Some of them, okay? So now let's head over to Lever 3 Colossal Shelf. Okay, so let's go. Alright, so you can see. Just a quick glance, not gonna show you guys like too much, okay? So this is our Mosasaurus repaint right there, okay? It is still work in progress. Hopefully, you'll get to see it by Saturday. Alright guys, so let's begin. You can see the table is not very filled with dinosaurs, but they are all right here on the floor. Plenty of them, so please stay tuned. We have lots to cover today, including lots of Takara Tomy figures and lots of dinosaur battles, okay? But first, let's take a look at this. Latest release of the Jurassic World 12-inch basic figure that features a new Proceratosaurus in a new paint scheme, okay? If you take a look at the back of the box, you'll be able to find the Indoraptor, which is not a new one, the Scorpius Rex, which is a figure that we already have, but if you check this out, this is actually the Concavenator, one that is new as well, okay? So let's open this up. Alright, how do we open this? Right, I've cut the box open so we can get the figure out quite easily. So I'm pretty excited about you know 12 inch figures to be honest. So let's get this out. Wow, it seems to be really tight. Wow, okay, so you we have to cut this open for sure. Let me get my pair of trusty scissors. Alright, let's cut the strings loose. And now let's assemble the figure. Okay, so here's the figures. Let's pop in the tail. Okay, easily done. I think you should be able to rotate the tail to the dire direction you want. Alright, so this is basically the latest Pro Ceratosaurus. Let's have a quick comparison with the other two. So I think this was the very first one, followed by the Dino River series. They actually released a red one. And this one seems to be an olive green. Not too sure why they've actually chosen, you know, the Pro Ceratosaurus to do a repaint. They should probably choose another dinosaur, I feel. Next up, the reason why I'm showing you guys our Takara Tomy Carnivorous Dinosaurs collection is because there will be a new JP 30th anniversary set that is going to be released soon. I'm so I'm pretty excited about this one. Okay, so now let's open some of our last few captive collection eggs right here. So let's open this up. Right. Let's have a look at our last pack. This is probably, I'm hoping to get a Pachycephalosaurus or the Ambo Velociraptor, hopefully. Pachycephalosaurus, I think we only have one in our entire collection, so it will be nice to get another one. Oh my goodness, we keep getting Stegosaurus. Stegosaurus is probably the most common one that, you know, I've been getting lots of them. Yep, so let me just pop in the tail. Yeah, there you go. Oh. Stegosaurus Stampede. You guys have seen this before, so let's not spend too much time on this. Alright, next up, let's switch things up a bit. Let's have a look at our first battle of the day, okay? So it will be Sticky Moloch versus Triceratops. Alright. So for the Sticky Moloch and the Triceratops figures, I've brought the rarest of all, which is the Battle Damage Triceratops. Apparently, this figure is extremely rare. This is the other Battle Damage Sticky Moloch, which is also very rare as well. So how are we going to do the battles? Check this out, guys. So basically, every dinosaur will come with some 
facts right here and some skill stats. So we are going to add up the stats, okay? So aggression of three, three plus one plus four plus three, okay? So it's a total of eight plus three, which is 11. So there's a total score of 11 from Sigi Moloch. For the Triceratops, we have we have 5 plus 4 which is 9 and 9 plus, what is that? Is that 1? 10. Wow. So the Sticky Moloch actually wins. Oh my goodness. This is unbelievable. I was expecting the Triceratops to, you know, to beat the, the Sticky Moloch. But according to the stats right here, Sticky Moloch is actually the winner. But what do you guys think? I think the Triceratops should be able to take down a Sticky Moloch um, very, very easily because it is heavily built like a tank all right let's move on to another battle next battle is basically between blue and Carnotaurus. i've brought the extreme damage blue right here which is very very cool this is actually one of the latest blue releases and this is of course the epic battle Carnotaurus, which is extremely awesome i really love this figure because of the lights that it can actually produce check it out all right there's a button right here as well that opens up the jaw all right so for blue versus conotaurus let's check out the facts okay so blue has an aggression of five intelligence of five defense of three and stealth of five okay oh there's also a secret weakness which you have to deduct so did we do something wrong for the previous battle probably probably guys so minus one for um, Sticky Moloch and plus one for um wow so Triceratops was actually the winner so I beg your pardon guys okay so let's head back to the Carnotaurus versus Blue as you guys can see so Blue is basically 18 minus 1 which is 17 and Carnotaurus is 6 plus 11 plus 6 11 15 15 plus 5 20 so definitely Carnotaurus is the winner. I think that was expected. What do you guys think? I think Carnotaurus is way, way, way bigger than Blue, but it will definitely take a long time to take Blue down because Blue is super intelligent. All right, next up, let's open up another rig right here. This has got to be a cool one. So let's pour the contents out. All right, let's have a look. What do we have right here? Wow, we have the Joe Sternberg here. The Joe Sternberger is actually quite a rare one too because we only have like two so far in our entire collection. Yeah, this is definitely a very cool one. Joe Sternberger is actually a prehistoric flying reptile and it has a killer rating of 6. Very nice. Gliding Joe Sternberger. Beautiful illustration right here on this card. Alright guys, so now let's take a look at 5 Takara Tomi Carnivorous Dinosaurs, okay? So let's see whether you are able to recognize all of them. First one right here, which is one of my most favorite carnivores right now, the Giganotosaurus right here, the giant southern lizard. This is a really beautiful figure to be honest. This is a Baryonyx, which was released before Jurassic World Dominion, but they re-released this figure again. But too bad they didn't release one with the mechanical arm, which is quite a pity. Next up, we have Atrociraptor Tiger. Atrociraptors are basically known as Savage Robbers. And of course, it can be found or can be seen in Jurassic World Dominion. This is also a Jurassic World Dominion figure. You can see this is the Carnotaurus from the Malta Black Market. And it has a broken horn, which is kind of cool, I feel. Next up, we have the Allosaurus. This Allosaurus was basically from Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. It was a juvenile Allosaurus, I think. Next up, let's open up one more guys, okay? Hopefully you are able to get the Velociraptor Hatchling Ember version. Alright, let's get the items up. Oh my goodness, I see a tail. And that is a tail of the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Okay, that's not too bad. I mean, this Tyrannosaurus Rex, this is actually from the first wave. So I'm pretty surprised that we actually got this because I actually ordered wave 2 you know, eggs right here, but you know, it's cool. I love the Tyrannosaurus Rex, so you can check this out. Tyrannosaurus Rex Terror. And of course, this is the side mirror in the vehicle from Jurassic Park. Wow, you can take a look at the killer rating. It's absolutely incredible. I think it's like 10. Yeah, I think it's about 10. This is like, you know, one of the um, dinosaurs with the highest killer rating of all. I mean, of course, it is the T-Rex. 
All right, let's move on to our next item. All right, next up, uh, we have Sila Roos versus the Draco Rex. I brought the latest Sila Roos instead of the one that looks like, you know, this, this illustration. So this is basically the Extreme Damage Sila Roos, which was released earlier this year. Very cool figure, you can see it actually features Sila Roos in a new sculpt. And this is basically one of the latest Draco Rex figures. Not too sure whether this was a, um, you know, I think it was from the Wild Pack, I can't remember. Now let's do a quick battle matchup, okay? So, Silarus basically have a total score of 8. And Draco Rex has a, you know, total score of 9. So, Draco Rex is actually the winner. I'm kind of like surprised. But of course, you know, you guys know that, you know, it has horns and a very, you know, thick, thick skull. So, it's probably, you know, it has a weapon that, you know, Silarus doesn't possess. Okay, so you can see the aggression of both dinosaurs are actually pretty low. Two and one intelligence is also not very high as well. So yeah, it will be a close battle, but Dracorex seems to be the winner, which I'm okay with it. What do you guys think? Okay, next up, we have Ankylosaurus versus Concavenator. So for Concavenator, I've actually brought two figures right here. Here, okay, so for the um, in Kalsaros, this is actually the second wave of the Rory Vols, which was probably released back in like 2019 or 2020. I can't remember. Yep, pretty cool one. You can see this is actually from the Dino Rival series, the colors are exactly the same. The other concavenator is the Dewar Attack Concavenator that was released quite some time ago. If you take a look at this, I have this super rare figure. The eye socket is actually printed, you know on the outside which is very weird it's supposed to be printed right here okay the other concavenator is actually the hammond collection concavenator right here as you guys can see the colors are very very similar all right let's take a look at the stats okay guys have a look at the ankylosaurus stats right here okay so ankylosaurus is basically 15 in total and concavenator is 11 so the ankylosaurus is actually the winner what do you guys think i've never seen the concavenator in action but i've definitely seen the ankylosaurus striking the indominus rex from jurassic world um first movie okay so very cool yeah i'm gonna root for ankylosaurus what about you guys let me know down below next up let's open up one more of this surprise eggs right here okay so let's get the slime away and let's pour the contents out Oh, we've got a Spinosaurus this time, guys. So let's pop in the tail, okay? So Spinosaurus, do you guys remember which movie was it seen? I think it was seen in Jurassic Park 3, if I'm not wrong. Spinosaurus Mega Mayhem. You can see the killer rating is also extremely high, which is almost the same as uh, um, Tyrannosaurus Rex. And speaking of this Spinosaurus, we actually have another figure which is the same. Okay, more or less the same. This is basically the bigger version of this smaller figure, okay? Alright, let's move on to our next item. Alright guys, next update, okay? News update. So you guys can see I've actually brought this which is a Transformer, you know, Dinosaur Tyrannosaurus Rex that can be transformed into a robot. And this vehicle that comes along with it can be transformed into a robot as well. The reason why I brought this to show you is because there is actually a new, very similar Tyrannosaurus Rex going to be released soon, okay? So this is basically like a Transformer, um, you know, Tyrannosaurus Rex that can be transformed into a, uh, a Jeep, I, I, I guess, a vehicle, a Jurassic Park vehicle, a Jeep Wrangler. Yeah, I can't wait to get this. There will also be like Triceratops and Indoraptor and Indominus Rex if I'm not wrong. So I'm pretty excited about this transforming dinosaur figures. We should be able to review them in June or July, which is fantastic. Alright, next up, let's take a look at three more basic figures. This is Pachycephalosaurus. I think this has got to be one of the rarest one of all, guys. I don't think you'll be able to find this, um, you know, in any retail stores or online store. They are basically very hard to find. This was like the very first wave of um, the basic figures. Um, I'm trying to make it stand, it's, it's kind of like falling over. The other one is actually quite a new one, Pyroraptor. I think this is actually much more common. And this is a Troceraptor Panthera, which is also quite rare. They can only be acquired by 
a set. You can't get them like individually, which is um very hard to find as well. All right, next battle. Let's have Baryonyx versus Sukomimus. I think this is going to be fun. But first, let's take a look at this Baryonyx figure. This is basically the Baryonyx from the Lava Search playset. You can see all the red patches and the red dots are basically the Lava. So this was actually seen in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. And this is the Dewar Attack Sukomimus. As you guys can see, there are two buttons. One actually moves the tail and the other one moves the neck and the mouth. This was released probably back in 2018 to 2020, that range. So yeah, I think maybe some of you guys have seen this before, maybe not. Wow, I love this battle guys. So basically, if you add up all the stats, they all, I mean, the both of them actually, you know, adds up to 16, 16 points. So you can see they are very, very close. The weight and the height are roughly the same. They weigh about the same weight as well. So yeah, this is very cool. So Baryonyx versus Sukomimers, it is a draw. Wow, I think this is, this is a, a nice battle. So let's move on to the next item. Alright guys, so now let's take a look at six more Takara, Tomi, Dinosaurs and Prehistoric Animals. I want you guys to like try to name the meaning of the name, okay? So we have a Dimetrodon right here. We also have a Tyrannosaurus Rex. I think you guys should know that it is known as Tyrant Lizard King. So that is super simple. What about this one? This one is not so easy in Dominus Rex. Although it is not exactly, you know, a real dinosaur. But it's not easy, so I'll come to this later on, okay? And this is the Mosasaurus, which I think you guys should know what does the name mean. And of course, we have the Velociraptor. So the Metrodon, if I'm not wrong, is known as the Two Measures of Thief, if I'm not wrong. I'm not too sure, or was, or was it Two Form Tooth? You guys let me know. Tyrant Lizard King, you guys should know. The Indominus Rex is basically known as the Untamable King. Yeah, that's the name of it. So, I mean, that's the meaning of its name. Pyroraptor is very simple. It's basically known as the Fire Teeth, or you can call it the Fire Robber. And of course, we have um, the Swift Robber or the, or the Swift Seasel. That's the Velociraptor Blue right here, okay? Very cool. Let's have a look at other figures right now. Let's take a look at four more basic figures. Spinosaurus right here. This was actually from the very first wave. Blue as well. Blue was actually released in a couple of different waves, you know, like um, the Dino Rivers as well as the Jurassic World. The Minion, I think they also released the same figure, and this is a Dilophosaurus. You can see we actually have like two different color scheme. This is the original color scheme, and we also have the Dino Rivers um, Parasaurolophus, which looks pretty cool. This is the battle that I'm waiting for. This is this has got to be the most epic one, okay? Indominus Rex versus Indoraptor. Which one's gonna win? I'm gonna say the Indominus Rex. What do you guys think? But before we get started, okay, let's take a look at the two latest Indominus Rex. I mean, two latest figures from the Indominus Rex and Indoraptor. We have the Sound Search Indominus Rex right here. Which is currently our latest, you know, addition. But of course, there's a new camouflage and battle in Dominus Rex, if I'm not wrong. And this is the um, track and attack uh, Indoraptor that comes with this button right here that opens up the jaw. Of course, you can move the arms as well. Okay, you can move both the arms to move the neck. So if you move this, it points to the right. And if you move the other one, it points to the left. Very cool. And if you guys take a look at this, it actually has a you know flickering eyes, which is amazing. And the body actually features a very shiny sheen of um, texture, which is awesome. All right now, let's take a look at the facts. Oh my goodness, guys! So basically, Indominus Rex and the Indoraptor they have full stats, which means they have hundred percent for all. Aggression, Intelligence, Defense, and Stealth, all are 5. And Hidden Advantage, Indoraptor possesses many skills, but his intelligence is likely the most dangerous. He can outsmart humans as well. What about the Indominus Rex? Advantage is the ability to literally camouflage herself thanks to the cuttlefish genes in her DNA. 
Wow. This has got to be my most favorite battle of the day, guys. Indominus Rex versus Indoor Raptor. What do you guys think? Would it be a draw or do you guys think one of them will actually emerge winner? I'm gonna say the Indominus Rex because I love the Indominus Rex more. All right, guys, next, let's take a look at more Takara Tomy figures, okay? So this is actually the latest um, Tyrannosaurus Rex from the Jurassic World Dominion series. I think it looks very nice, but the new T-Rex that they will be releasing soon will be using the old sculpt, which is fine as well, which I think, you know, looks fantastic as well. The other one, this should be a Trociraptor Red. So this was actually a Trociraptor Tiger. So I'm going to put this one right here. And this is basically a Trociraptor Ghost that, you know, you guys should be able to recognize it um, very easily. Okay, do we have another Trociraptor? Yes, I think so. I think this one is Panthera, if I'm not wrong. The colors from Takara Tomy are not super accurate. We also have a Conotaurus. This is actually from the Jurassic World. Cam Cretaceous series, as you guys can see, it has a scar, and this scar basically tells us that it is Conotaurus Toro. Alright, we have two blues right here, as you guys can see, they are different. I think they are different. Um, in terms of the colors, they are different, but in terms of the sculpt, they look the same. And uh, yeah, this one has a missing tail, yeah, which I've lost it, yeah, I, I can't find it at all, which is kind of a pity. This one, if I'm not wrong, it's supposed to be Beta, the baby of blue. Not, it's not blue as a baby, it's the baby of blue, okay? Right, next up, let's take a look at four more basic figures. I'm basically showing you guys my entire collection, okay? So this is red. I think this is a really beautiful one. And um, here we have three Tyrannodons. I have no idea what, why they actually created like three Tyrannodons. Tyrannodons are basically not the most popular species when it comes to Jurassic Park line. So I have no idea why they actually produce three of them. It will be nice if they can produce like a basic figure of Indominus Rex. I will go crazy over it. Alright, next battle, let's feature Nasudoceratops versus Triceratops. I'm actually pretty curious to see who will actually emerge winner. I've brought two Triceratops figures, I, I mean two figures right here. I've brought the baby Nasudoceratops and this one which I've shown you guys just now. So this is basically um, the very, the young baby Triceratops which, you know, Dr. L Ali Settler, you know, petted when she arrived at the, um, uh, I can't remember the name of the place. Yeah, you guys get the idea, okay? And um, the Triceratops is basically the, the very rare battle damage. Let's take a look at the stats, okay? All right, so Nasudoceratops has a combined score of 15, whereas Triceratops only has 11. So, wow. So the Tris Nasudoceratops is definitely, you know, the winner right here. Let's do a size and a weight comparison. Wow. I don't think this is accurate, you can see. Nasudoceratops weighs only 2.5 tons, whereas Triceratops weighs 10.9 tons. So I'm not too sure how they actually feel that Nasudoceratops could beat Triceratops. So that is very weird. I'm definitely, I definitely feel that Triceratops will be the winner when it comes to the battle. But I want you guys to comment down below as well. Okay, next up, we are going to finish up our collection of Takara Tomy figures. This is basically a Conotaurus. This is also from the Jurassic World series, although it doesn't look, you know, anything like the Jurassic World Conotaurus. This is a Spinosaurus, so you guys should be able to recognize this. It looks like the extreme damage Spinosaurus. And here we have two babies. This is baby blue, I think, baby blue. And this is beta right here, all right? Next up, we are down with two last basic figures right here, okay? This is Atmontosaurus right here. Very nice um, colors, I would say. It actually features the same colors as the Oranosaurus. Yeah, yeah. If you guys remember that, and this is basically a Trociraptor ghost. Okay, next up, we will have Comsonators versus Proceratosaurus. I think this is going to be, uh, you know, a one-way battle. Comsonators is definitely a very weak dinosaur. Let's have a look at this. Uh, just flip the page for me. Okay, so you guys can see Comsonators has a very low score of uh, just 5 minus 1, which is 4. And um, we have 6 minus 1, which is 5. Yeah, so Proceratosaurus 
you know, just, you know, barely ages the console nethers. But I think the size is actually way bigger, guys. Yeah, it's actually quite heavy. So I thought, you know, the score could be higher. It could be like seven or eight. But, you know, Comsa Nethers is not able to defeat anyone on its own. They definitely have to attack in a pack, I feel. Next battle, we have Ceratosaurus versus Protoceratops. I've brought our latest Ceratosaurus, which is the Hammond Collection Ceratosaurus. You guys have seen this before. And this is basically from one of the um, attack packs. Quite an old figure. Wow, this is a one-way battle, guys. So basically, Ceratosaurus has a total score of 16, whereas the Protoceratops only has a score of, uh, let me see, only 2. So that is like, you know, 16 versus 2. This is the clear winner for sure. Alright, next we have Parasaurolophus versus Spinosaurus. So we, we actually have this, the 12-inch Parasaurolophus versus, you know, the Captive Collection Spinosaurus. So let's take a look at the facts and stats. Alright, Spinosaurus is the clear winner. It has a combined score of 18. So it is just like two score below, you know, Indominus Rex and Indoraptor. And Parasaurolophus only has a score of 6, so clear winner. Next up, we have the Tappy Jara versus Gallimimers. For the Gallimimers, I've actually brought the latest one, which is from, you know, the 93 classic set. I really love this figure a lot, especially when it comes to the color scheme. For the Tappy Jara, I didn't bring the Tappy Jara, but instead I brought another Tappy Jarid, which is known as the Tupan Dactylus, because this is like the latest figures. Hopefully you guys have not seen this before, and this is the first time you're seeing this, so it could be like, you know, more refreshing for you. So Tappy Jera only has a score of 2, whereas the Gallimimus has a score of 7. So that is quite a one-way battle as well. Next battle, we have Herrerasaurus versus Pteranodons. You guys have seen plenty of Pteranodons just now, so I've actually brought a Joe Sternbergia, which is closely related to a Pteranodon 2. This is uh, from the Legacy Collection. And this is the Strike Attack Herrerasaurus, which features a new sculpt, which I think looks absolutely amazing. I love it. I love this one. So let's take a look at the facts and stats. Wow, right here we actually have another draw guys. So both dinosaurs, okay, I know that this is not a dinosaur. Both of them has a combined score of 10. So, uh, yeah, that is a, uh, I mean, sorry, I mean 9. 2, 4, 6, 8, 9. Yeah, both of them have the score of 9, so it's a draw again. Next, we have Monolophosaurus versus Apatosaurus. So I've brought this finger puppet for the Apatosaurus. This is actually our latest Apatosaurus. Monolophosaurus, I've brought one of, uh, you know, one from the Camp Cretaceous series. So I think this is known as the um, Savage Strike series, I guess. All right, Monolophosaurus has a score of 11 and the Apatosaurus only a score of seven. So it's a clear winner. So let's read this. Secret weakness. Compared to her size, the jaws of Monolophosaurus are pretty weak. If she's able to land a bite during a battle, it likely won't cause much damage to large dinosaurs. I see. With such an incredible long neck, one well-placed bite from a larger carnivore could bring a Patasaurus down swiftly. So that is a weakness for sure. Next, we have Allosaurus versus Mosasaurus. For the Mosasaurus, you know, I'm just going to say that you guys have seen my repainted Mosasaurus just now, so we will just take it as that um, figure, okay? So for the Allosaurus, I've actually brought the best one, which is the extreme damage Allosaurus right here that comes with the battle damage, okay? Of course, you can actually close this, close this battle damage right here, okay? So now let's take a look at the facts and stats. Wow, very close battle guys. So the Mosasaurus has a score of 19, which is just slightly lower than the Indominus Rex and the Indoraptor, I guess. No, Indoraptor and the Indominus Rex were like 25, I think. So 19 is a very high score. And Allosaurus has a score of 18, which is awesome as well. All right, let's move on to, I think which is our final battle of the day, guys. Yeah, this is really fun. Okay, next battle, let's do Sinoceratops versus Stegosaurus and these two are probably some of the newest figures I mean in their respective species so with the Sinoceratops Soundstrike figure right here if I'm not wrong this is actually from um, the Camp Cretaceous series I'm not too sure and this is basically from Dino Tracker's Gigantic Tracker 
Stegosaurus that comes with two buttons. Oh my goodness, I just caused an earthquake behind. It's okay, because we are near towards the end of our video anyway, okay? So Cynoceratops versus Stegosaurus, let's check out the facts and stats. Alright guys, I'm quite surprised because the Stegosaurus has a score of 15, whereas the Cynoceratops only has a score of 7, which is kind of a um, pity. Because you guys should know that, you know, Stegosaurus is actually not a very intelligent dinosaur because the brain is actually very, very tiny. Yeah, so, yeah. Alright guys, check this out so you can see the room is actually in a mess right now. So what I'll be doing next is basically to put all the figures back into their respective shelves. I'll take some nice thumbnails and um, I'll probably do a few more videos for like Instagram Reels, YouTube Shots and TikTok. Basically the same video, but of course, if you guys want to follow me on Instagram and, um, you know, YouTube uh, and um, TikTok as well, do follow me, okay? And of course, if you guys want to request for a personalized video for yourself, you can also do so. You can check out the link in our About Us tab or, you know, link in the bio in our Instagram or uh, TikTok. You'll be able to find, you know, a space where you can place a request for a personalized video okay all right so on saturday hopefully we can get the mosasaurus repaint up in time which i'm, which I'm gonna uh you know if we are able to then I'll, I'll be able to show you guys okay and hopefully i'll be receiving more figures by saturday so i'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching this make sure you subscribe if you are not yet subscribed and um, give this video a thumbs up comment down below okay i'll see you guys in the next video goodbye